Hello everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Cedar Grove Outdoors. I'm your host, Greg Wargo, and as you can see behind me, we got a coyote. Now it's a young coyote, but it's still a coyote. And what we're doing here is we're just saving the fawns, we're saving turkeys, and uh, we're really ecstatic to pull this off of the, the trap line today. Now this set has been put in since Sunday, and uh, first activity since then. So we're ecstatic to pull this off, and I'm gonna tell you why I picked this location. So first off, this location is in a creek bottom, and it's just full of ironweed, and there's multiple rose bushes all over the place. What we have here is we have a deer trail cutting this way, we have a deer trail that I'm standing on, we have one cutting back this way, we have one cutting across the hill, and we have one cutting across the top. Um, multiple trails kind of converging in one location. Um, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this coyote dispatched, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a couple more cable restraints up here now that we've already had a coyote. This spot right here is just a giant natural attractant for other coyotes to come and investigate this. So um, we're going to go ahead and get this thing dispatched and we're going to move on down the line. All right, guys, we're out here on the trap line today. We had a major, major temperature swing last night. Um, temperature dropped 20 degrees. So today we're in the middle 40s. Yesterday we were in the middle 60s. We've got all these animals moving and it finally looks like I caught my... Uh, my little trap the better thief here um, as you can see behind me uh, this is where I had that trap dug up the other day and I'm pretty sure it was a raccoon so hopefully I won't have that digging problem again so what we're doing here is we're taking the raccoons we're taking the possums we're taking skunks if we get them we're trying to help with the ground nesting birds and uh, these guys are big time nest raiders so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get this thing dispatched I'm gonna go ahead and show you the remake on it. All right, guys, we're out here on the trap line. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna swap this trap out for a uh, for a cleaner one. That one there was brutal. So we're putting this new trap on. Sometimes it's just better to go ahead and re replace the filthy mud-packed trap in conditions like this with a clean working trap. So what we got here is we got a bridger number two. We're gonna go ahead and pound our JC Connor shock spring down into this mud hole. We're gonna get some of this dry dirt I got and we're gonna throw it on, on top. Give us a little bit of a better bed. Actually, I wanted to change logs. See, I have two, I carry two types of gloves with me. I carry one glove for remakes and uh, like handling, handling the critters I catch and I carry one clean set. Obviously I use on a clean set. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing set in the ground. I'm gonna tap that dog down. Tap that pan down a little bit, sorry. Trap bedded in there nice and solid. As you can see, if I touch that trap anywhere, it's not moving. We're gonna take some more of this dry dirt. We're gonna just cover this up. I still like to pack it the best I can in this. Now all this dry dirt, it's just it's just gonna soak up all this muddy mess here. So um go ahead and look at the pan a little bit. Okay. Now on this set, I'm not gonna use a, a pan cover. We're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna roll with the trapper's cap. bit more on top. We're going to take some of this mess here and we're going to just 
kind of blend it in a little bit. It's really hard to blend in, but we're just going to throw a little bit of this junk here. Maybe just leave the pan exposed a little bit and hopefully give them some place to step. Now, I've had good luck on remakes this year. I've had very good luck, so we're going we're gonna to keep churning away with them. Oop, there's, there's actually our dirt hole right there. What we're going to put in this one is we're going to put some uh, Top Dog Predator Bait by Hoosier Trapper Outdoors. About the size of, about the size of a quarter. We're not looking to feed these things. Obviously, there's no money in feeding these things, so we're going to give it a little bit of shot of... Um, we're going to mix this one up. We're going to hit it with some uh, bobcat urine. And honestly, that's it. That's how I'm going to leave this set. This is a completed set. There's plenty of smell. There's plenty of eye appeal um, from this raccoon. So um, well, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pack up and we're going to go ahead and move on down the line. And uh, thanks for watching.